Now previously you learned that the arc length here, S is proportional to the angle of x degree. S is equals to x over 360 times 2 pi r. What happens if x is in radian mode? Let's notate our radian mode with theta. So this is radian and x is in degree mode. So we will try to change x into radian and put it back into your formula and see what is s, which is the arc length equals to. Now we know that 180 degrees is equals to pi radians. So x degrees will be pi over 180 degrees times x. So this will be your theta. So since theta is equals to pi over 180 degree x times x degree, if we make x to be the subject of the formula, you will have theta times 180 degrees divided by pi. Now let's put what we have here back into your equation above. So theta times 180 degrees over pi times 2 pi r. And then you mustn't forget the 360 degrees here. So divided by 360 degrees. So let's work this out. So pi cancels with this pi. 180 divided by 360, you will have a 2 in the denominator. So you have theta over 2 times 2r. And if you cancel the 2, you will have r times theta or theta times r. So this is something that you may want to memorize because it will be really handy and it is really simple. Now let's look at the counterpart of area. How do you find the area of a sector of a circle of radius r if you were to have x in radian mode? So our premise is the same. You have an angle in between two radius and that is x degree. So what is the area of this pizza? Now previously you know that the area is proportional to the angle. So x degree over 360 degrees times pi r square. So let's find out what if x is not in degree but in radians. So above you have already found out that if you want to convert x degree to radian it will be this. So let's throw this in where theta is in the radian mode and you will have 180 degrees times theta in radian mode divided by pi and divided by 360 here times pi r square. I'm just copying this value here. So the algebra looks a little complicated. If you can't follow, just do it yourself slowly. I'm not going to spend too much time on the algebra because this topic is on the radian mode. So, so I will have this theta here in radian mode. 180 degrees divided by 360 will have 2 at the denominator. This pi will cancel with this pi and I am left with r square here. So the area of this pizza slice, area of a sector, is simply equals to half times theta times r square. So this is another formula that you probably want to memorize. So for radian mode, the formula is really quite simple. So you will be asked to use these formulas to solve questions that is very similar to the previous topics in degree mode, but this time around you need to use radian.